Hey guys, it's the Null Cybercats here, and this is our world's explanation, world's robot explanation. And this is a lot of people have requested it, and definitely not because I saw Austin Sus doing it. So I'm just gonna do a brief overview of our robot, all the mechanisms, like how we built them, how they work, all that stuff. So yeah, so this is our world's robot. Uh, if there's a name, we named it Terry, because last year we named it Jerry from Hypixel Skyblock. So yeah, uh, it th our design just a regular ramp flywheel, nothing really, like, it's such a simple design, yet it works so well. Probably because, and I think that's because we've tuned it so much, this is the design that we've had throughout the entire season. So yeah, so I'm just going to do a brief overview of the mechanisms and how everything works. So... Uh, I'm just gonna do dispensers first, so, so we have, the main thing that does the dispensers is the ramp, and the blue drop, and I'll talk, and the blue, and I'll talk about these a lot later, but, so, I guess the first one is the purple dispenser, so we have, this is the wheel that has the purple dispenser, and it's <clears throat> 5 to 1 ratio double motor, because it's a 10 to 1 with a 1 to 2, and, it's really good because there's torque. A lot of teams have like an 8 to 1 or like a <clears throat> 10 to 1. And we didn't really like that because there's a lot of, there's not enough torque for us. So how it works is the purple wheel goes right into here. And this blocks it from going out here, which will get this jammed under this. So this goes in and then this, this wheel will get the pucks from under it and pull it under. So what we do is how we get the purple is, uh, hold on. So once we are lined up, I'll click this button, which will put the ramp down and get the purple. And if it gets jammed, I just go back into it because sometimes it does that. Okay, so that's our purple, and then adding on to the uh purple, we this our this is our back entry, which we use for getting the yellow. So. When we get the yellow, the 1x5s on the end of the ramp, they bump the green thing, and the pucks go in. And it works really well. So yeah, that's our yellow dispenser. I think it's really good. It's easier than from that from that side, because that side requires like going up. But this one just requires bumping it at the right angle. So... Yeah, that's, I think that's, this is probably the best yellow we've had. And then finally, we have our blue dispenser. So, it's a no motor one. So, so basically, this is our blue dispenser mechanism. It's, we caught, we uh, got inspiration from a Magicka team we saw at US Open. And then this, our blue drop is really simple. It's just like that. And it uses these pieces because they're really smooth. So, yeah, that's our mechanism. And then I'll talk about the extender later. So, I'm going to talk about the ramp now. Or, like, a bit more. We've used... Our ramp uses these standoffs. Because our old, our old ramp was this. And it used these 1x20s. And these... It's already really smooth. but And really slippery. But we just found that the standoffs are way more slippery and way more volatile. And... This also helps with these pegs on the side. There's there's so many pegs on the side of the ramp. And that helps filter the pucks. So you see how there's pucks like this. If we just go if we just go like this a bunch, it'll flatten out. And then we can shoot them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we're using a 60% Gen 1 battery that hasn't been used since Create U is open because when I grabbed the robot from school today, I forgot to get a battery. So this is my home ro home battery. So yeah, it's gonna be really trash. So yeah, this is our ramp without pucks. It's really like it's just open. It's like such a clean design. There's not even a like a barrier thing at the end. A lot of teams have that, but we don't have that. We don't think we need it. And I think just it's it's really long as well, which helps it hold a bunch of pucks. So yeah. Okay, next is the flywheel. We have 
double motor 10 to 1 ratio like normal like no friction at all we have five wheels which is really good because it's it's enough weight where it's not too much and it shoots the pucks out really well because it grips with the standoffs on the bottom so i think a lot of people asked us like or somebody asked us how is your robot so accurate and i think i don't know if this is the main reason but this is one of the reasons so under our standoffs here we have a thing of pitch rope that runs under them and this helps so that the standoffs go don't go down the the pitch rope supports it so it doesn't go down and in our old robot we had a rubber band under it and that helped but the thing about that is it's so elastic that it bounced up and that made the pucks just too much and they were it was kind of actually inconsistent but after that, we went after we switched the wheels. We we're like, we need something under the standoff. So, and we didn't want rubber bands. So we were gonna use pitch rope to do hold something in. So like, we we're just like, let's just how about let's just try pitch rope, and it worked really well. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons why our accuracy was how it was at Worlds. So <clears throat> now I'll just go into the extender, which is the last thing. I think just. Our history of extenders this year, if we could describe it with one word, it would be scuffed. Because our thing is scuffed. So I'm going to raise the camera to show you what it is. It's the blue catch is connected by this. But then there's two gears. And this second gear is what activates it. So this is our extender. It's one of these where there's only, there's only one pivot point because it shoots out this way. Instead of a second pivot point where it's like our old extender here so we really like this design because it shoots out straight because it doesn't bounce so our old extender here bounces because it goes up so we don't want it to go up so we we uh, had this design and then how we have it so that it stays in is this beam here per keeps it in from the from the front and the back and there's a one by one here i don't know where it went so this keeps it holds it in and then once how it goes off is there's this pivot point and it goes up. And how it goes up is once we bring the thing up, this one peg here goes like this. And like that. And with enough momentum, it just, it pushes it up, you see. And there's, it stays down because of the rubber band there. So yeah, that that's our extender. It's again, scuffed. Just the entire thing is scuffed. Like, our entire robot is scuffed. So, yeah, that's that's our extender. There's... If you if you look at, like, any other extender, this is... This ex design is actually really common. And we're just really good. So, yeah. That's, like, our main mechanisms of our robot. Um, yeah. So, here, I'll show you our controls. So... We, unfortunately, we are one joystick. I know, I know, end the video, cut, cut, cut. Okay, but yeah, we are one joystick, and honestly, our controls are all just goofy, ah, uh, because we're just we're used to one joystick. So our ramp is these buttons, so it's down, up, which this is also shoot, because we go like this to shoot, and we can go really fast. And then our blue is no motor, so it's the design, it's the drivetrain, but... The drop is, this button is the drop because it's down and this button is up, which is also expand. And then here for our flywheel, we have the manual buttons are these two. So this is shoot, this is regular, this is opposite. I don't think we've ever used this in a competition with our new design. And then here we have for auto, which is what we always use. We have click the joystick for regular shooting. And then we have... Click this for ramp down and purple, which is just, it's the same thing, but 100% velocity. And this is really good because it, it's just instant. It's, we can line up, click the button, and then just have it do it for us. And it, that's why it's really good. And then finally, here's our velocity changer. So up 5%, down 5%. And we can change it in the middle. So say we shoot in the two, my team light will literally go, and then crank it up to 100% and shoot it into the four. And that's another reason why we used wheels. Because 
rubber band flywheels, the thing we found about it is they can't break. So breaking, we could we we say breaking is when there's pucks. If there's pucks, it'll shoot those pucks as long as the pucks that are currently being the shot out. So if there's pucks in the two, breaking is like shooting those into the four. And we found that rubber bands couldn't do that, but wheels can because someone told us. So yeah, we went to wheels, and I think that that worked really well because our rubber band thing. It would shoot a lot into the one, even though it's shot in the four. And the the rubber band pucks were spread out versus the wheel pucks are very, like, t- together. Which is good so we can shoot more into the zone, as well as if we're doing a four dispenser route. So, yeah, that's, like, the main mechanisms of our robot. And, so, yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to end it here. So, yeah. Cool. Uh... Slapshot's over, and, like, half the Vex, Vex IQ community is graduating, so I guess I'll see you in VRC next year. Yay.